Welcome back, friends, to Battles for Spain, a new digital area control war game, I would say. And uh, yeah, we had our first Republican turn. Uh, we tried to hold off the nationalists and the, the Corpo Truppe Voluntaria, the Italian so called volunteer corps. And uh, we have some units here in the back, which were affected by nationalist air bombardment. So they could not move up to come to our aid. And we end our turn. And the nationalists play. They always get a summary of our turn, so they can take a look here. We have played three cards and so on. And uh, I think I haven't mentioned it yet. You can play this game by play by email, which is quite cool. So they draw cards. But we don't know which cards. All the units are in supply, obviously. And they start land movement. They still have the... The additional movement points for the Italian forces and they go ham right now it seems all out attack by the fascists and they have two artillery support weapons and a full strength battalion under Aldecoa while we don't have a leader here and a half strength Rohr brigade so we could re-roll but I think... no, that's not worth it. I think we lose this combat. Yeah, there is a hit. We have to take only one step lost on uh, Rohal. And he survives, or the battalion survives, but nationalists win. So intensive attack number of rounds is set to three so normally a battle is two rounds and you can affect this by playing cards for example this intensive attack or there is fog to reduce uh, the number of combat rounds to one yeah so what do we have here artillery and three battalions two nationalist army battalions and a phalangist Militia Battalion under Villalba against Pablo Iglesias, I think. Um, uh, shall we reroll now? Oh, we have a combat factor modifier of minus two, so we need to roll a zero to hit. That's bad news. Okay, only ah uh, three rounds, right? But before we took this hit, we panicked and uh, retreated out of the combat. That's good. Another attack here by Vandelli, and he has some artillery with him and two Italian brigades. Um, we don't have a leader, but the morale is equal. They get a plus one modifier for the artillery i'm not sure which terrain we're in right now uh i think we wanna use the machine guns minus one for artillery yeah and plus one because they have uh, a leader that's a hit against the communist unit ah too bad so the nationalists and Italians are pushing forward. Yeah. All right. We get to draw a new card. Tough defense. We get a plus one combat factor in a defensive battle. That should come in handy. Now, what's the situation down here? So we need to bring up these forces rather quickly now. I think the second division will aim for Brihuega. 
So maybe we should move down here. But if this is the case, um, we have here artillery, a tank company and a brigade. So Castro. Ah, of course, I have to end the card draw phase. So now the supply phase, all our units are in supply. So now we are here for movement. And this time we're gonna give this deck this movement. I'm not sure why the first card did not work. Hmm. Unfortunate for us. So, Castro, we're gonna split him off. He should take command of this these units there. And he can reach them due to the first march. Does he have movement points left? No, he hasn't. But, but that's not bad. They are entrenched here in Almadrones. So that's good. Hopefully they can defend against the second division uh parts of the second division here's another second okay so the remainder uh of these troops should move to brujuega right to repel these guys we can't reach it that way and oops but we can reach it that way so down to brujuega we go Good, and what do we have here? Guardia de Asalto and Marjal. Um, where should they go? Maybe up here, right? Defend this, this, these hills. So move up. Yeah, of course the garrison can't leave the area. Uh, should we attack? Well, we can't attack because we have no leader, right? So let's mm -hmm. Let's move over here oh, yeah. A shame that he got hit But it is how it is now shall we advance maybe we can take this supply source here yeah actually it's unoccupied so we get it oh that's cool but uh, here's one this one unit has to retreat and come over here to cut off this way good so Rubio, Rubio, Rubio. And here's another unit. Move up, but where shall we send Rubio? To Cocoyudo or to Carascosa de Henares? The road is here. One, two. Ah, we can't move further. Let's go here then. From there we can await the fascist attack. So, down here. Uh, it's important to defend these positions. Not sure where this stack aims for. Let's this unit can't attack us here, but could take the supply source. Mm, I think we we can afford uh, to have them take this position. We're gonna join forces here and here. Entrench in this position. And the cavalry, I'm not sure about the cavalry. I think they should join these troops and then maybe we can 
if there is a gap somewhere close it and cut the second division from supply but we will have to see what happens and um, Rojos, Rojos stays in place and Castejón de Henares. So that's our turn. Yep. Nationalists turn. They get a summary of our turn, which is okay. And uh, the division Penenere arrives. More Italian reinforcements. And we have a muddy terrain. Some units of both sides are immobilized this turn. They had to play this immediately. Uh, all the units are in supply. Yep. And here it comes. Units here. They move in this gap. They attack here. Okay. I thought they would move down here. And they attack over there. Interesting. So, but they attack with only one unit. Um, but it's a decisive attack. Combat factor is plus one. We don't have a leader. So they have a combat factor of three. We only have two. They roll three or less. Uh, shall we play tough defense? I don't think so. But we get a plus one because of the defensive terrain, which is great. Ah, one of our unit panics, which then makes a nationalist victory. What a shame. So Castro defense here. We both have artillery. Morale is equal. We got tanks. We don't need to play the card. They have minus two combat factor, but they do hit. We hit them too, and uh, one of our unit panics, this one, but the tank does hit again. So that's a victory for us, and the battle uh, for Fuente del Teja. Uh, ooh, they have a leader, which is a plus one, we have none. They have artillery, plus two. Let's play the tough defense. Come on. But still we got minus one and we panic. So the card was wasted. Fortunately, we can redraw it. It's a later point. And now it's our turn again. Yeah, we had a victory, two defeats, casualties on both sides. And four cards were played. The International Brigade, the 11th International Brigade, arrives at Turija. And this is a card that has to be played immediately. Uh, we would have done this anyway, but here it comes. Under Kale. Uh, and they have the columns Edgar Andre, Telman, uh, Commissario, pa I, I don't know, Parisio or something like that. Artillery and tanks. Okay, cool. And I think, where do we need them now? Against the Italians first? No, we have a unit coming up here. So we need them against the fascists in the north. Let's bring them in here. And we get Valdez as another leader down here in Cifuentes and this Guardia in Camino a Torre, Torre Belenia up here. Yeah, great. Good news. Reinforcements are always good. So supply is there for all our forces. Okay, uh, there we go. They have moved up quite a bit and opened the gate. 
So can we cut them off is the question. Let's follow this road. Not enough movement points to go down there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could cut off this supply source as well if we are lucky. Would take one, two, three, four turns. But of course, they have supply from down here. Wouldn't really matter then. Yeah, let's let's go down the road. Ah, and we couldn't move further because we didn't move along the road here. There isn't a road between these two areas. I see. Uh, they moved across. So we did retreat up north. Interesting. But that means we should come over here, defend this, these bridges. They shall... Go in there, we gonna entrench. There is one thing I dislike about this. Oh, they push this back here. Shall we then counter attack? Or shall we move over here and let them be? So, Valdez should be with these guys can move up here hmm. that's not ideal but he will he will move up there um, they join in right we have these guys over here entrench please these are entrenched as well then we have Barcelo and his troops moving up slowly but surely joining forces here maybe pushing the second division back and we got these reinforcements still on their way moving up the Francia road <clears throat> and we were attacked by these guys here right Shall we counter attack? Shall we try to and test the third division? I'm not sure. I would say we go back into the mountains. But that's, that would open the road to the Italians. And they could move one, two, maybe three to Gajenejos. That would be unfortunate. I'm not sure what to do with these guys. Maybe we just stay in place. They're entrenched. These guys are entrenched. These two. So maybe... Yeah, we have to wait and see what the 3rd Division is going to do. Move up or not. And maybe we can cut them off. Yeah. So... The International Brigade shall... Move... Mm. Let's take a closer look. We have those units here, so maybe should we move to Hadrake and then go up north and encircle these units? Join with this troop here. So we sh maybe we should. Ah, this has one step uh, left, so we can't do any offensive missions with them but we have only sufficient movement points to get to Hita so we can still decide whether we want to go here around here or up there or come back but that would be no nah, that's too much too far to move so move up here and join with this unit Cut these guys out, uh, off the supply or move up here and face them. That are the choices we have right now. This guy can move up but not sufficient movement points to join this guy. And this guy can slowly move up. Slowly but surely reinforcements are arriving at the front line. 
turn and face and the nationalists are playing summary okay they got three victory points right now there is a traffic a jam accumulation of hundreds of vehicles in the frankia road Peninera mounted on trucks lose two movement points ah okay that's interesting so they lost movement points italian units and forced march one of the italian stacks gets plus one movement point and it will be the second division Ooh, and they move in here and join forces we are aiming for brihuega it seems so maybe we can cut them off uh there is no battle actually no combat this turn and veterans your troops get an extra reroll on a battle okay good card uh one mg company comes in as reinforcements and we have we have an unsupplied unit in oh there is a fascist phalanche militia i see <laughs> they detected our plan and cut us but how could how can this be out of supply if we have a supply source here i don't get this i don't get it i don't get it yeah please entrench they should have supply from there hmm. but maybe we can only neutralize this supply source for the nationalists and not use it ourselves maybe i should look this up in the rules at some point and uh, these guys join forces here please please move up here so we need to do something about it they can move in there rubio so we could one two why can't we not enough movement points ah this unit mm -hmm. the artillery in one unit would not be enough or maybe it is enough now let's take the leader and this unit and then move up here so next turn we can attack then we take rubio he takes command of the artillery and then we have the the international brigade here and we have these reinforcements uh let's split them off the stronger one oh, they can't reach uh it's a shame yeah move to Utande. and you too okay join forces again so down here mm. we can't attack with these guys they don't have a leader but we now can move over here and cut these divisions off two divisions or parts of divisions that is great news uh they don't have artillery or anything they have tanks we could bring the tanks these entrench and they can move yeah they could ah uh, i thought there was another area here so that would be not the best move right 
<clears throat> We're gonna move over here to block these units uh, from reconnecting this area to, uh, and thereby re-establishing supply for these units and I think they can't follow us because it would take them too much movement points and these guys stay here defensively entrenched so if they aim for Brihuega and move over here One, two, yeah, I think they could. We can uh, hold them off. So, uh, the International Brigade should attack here or at least defend somewhere here. So, let's then move into Espanosa de Henares. There. They could face both of these. Looks good, right? I think so. Yeah, and let's see whether they are in supply next turn or not. Curious. I'm curious about it. So we end the turn. Nationalists have three victory points right now. Okay, summary. Nothing interesting here. Removal of trucks. It's impossible to go ahead on truck. So trucks are removed. Minus one movement factor for third division infantry units. Okay, which one is the third division? And uh, the Italian units are out of supply down here. Good news. And there is no counter attack. Ah, and because they are out of supply, they are not allowed to move, I think. There, you can have uh, supply trucks and they offer an additional round of supply, but maybe they don't have them. And the 12th International Brigade arrives and some other troops. Great. Uh, under Lukas, we have uh, Garibaldi, Drombowski, Andre Marti, Madrid, some tanks. Armored vehicles, La Passionaria column, and some cavalry. So where should we place those? Maybe again up here or against the Italians now. Shall we bring them up against the Italians now? Or still up here? We have to stop the this advance here that's an issue uh, but hmm. Poo. can't decide what to do let's bring them down here yep into Riha This unit is still out of supply and I don't get it. Yeah, but the, the coloring said this is not your supply zone. So we move this guy over here and then we try to attack here and reconnect our areas. Here we gonna join forces and then uh, not enough movement points. Ah, uh, this one unit. Okay. So we split, split these up. Move over here. Attack these units here. And now shall we... Yeah, we try to cut off these nationalists. And therefore attack these guys here with the 11th International Brigade. Good enough, good enough, good enough. We cannot attack here. But we can move there. That's that's okay. Mm. We should attack these guys. So 
so maybe Valdez should come back down here and then attack here and they could join forces again afterwards not sure about it uh, we still have Castro but he can't attack he has to entrench to keep these out of supply and this is Ooh. if they could move one two no they only could move to here not to ah, good that's good yeah but what shall we do with Valdez shall we move him back to Cifuentes and then attack Las Inviernas The remaining forces show in French and uh, yeah it will take some time to turns in the third turn we can attack here so hopefully these guys won't attack right now it's okay we, we're gonna do it that way and Barcelo will still stay in place or shall we move to Yela I don't think so. I think we should stay in place here. Hmm. This is tricky now. There are quite some units in here. If they are somehow able to move, we will get a problem. But we. So we stay here. Yeah. And then we have the, the 12th International Brigade under Lukas. And uh, we could maybe try an offensive here, really. So let's move him. Ah, uh, what? Not enough movement points. What is that? Ah, no. Uh, this is a difficult region, so only six units are allowed to enter it right so let's take our best units one two three four five and uh, the armored car no let's bring the armored car and the cavalry up north so we take these six units along the road and these units up to the north that way to to Richa. no to Hita to Hita okay that's everything yeah we're done with movement now combat phase and uh, let's start with first over here they have a phalange battalion which is indeed stronger or has a higher uh, combat factor than triunfo so let's play the veterans for a re-roll we get a bonus of one because we have a leader and they don't and we get a hit but we panic so although they were hit uh, they could force us to retreat which is a shame actually so Carascosa uh, de Henares yeah fighting against these two battalions we have artillery support uh, they have a little river so this equals out to zero zero no oh, come on we have one panic and a hit against us oh, 
Oh, come on. Bad luck for us. Again, again, they forced us to retreat there. Now the Republicans was, was the Nationalists in Fuente de la Teja. Down here, the International Brigade, the 11th, uh, under Carle, will attack San Quinto, maybe? Under Villalba, we have some artillery, we have artillery, morale is the same, we have leaders. And it seems the tank does not give an advantage here. So maybe uh, I mix that up with wars across the world. Their tanks and cavalry give a bonus. Here not. Or maybe it's because of the terrain, I'm not sure, but the terrain gives us a minus one. Nonetheless, we hit. Uh, and they hit, but we did so two, so two hits against the enemy. This must have been a victory for us, yes, and now we cut these guys off in Padilla de la Hita. I mean, they can simply move over here, but uh, maybe the next attack on Carrasco... Hmm. We'll defeat these guys. I hope so. So, Nationalists playing. Uh, they had two victories, one defeat against the International Brigades. They draw some cards. And... Do they play? No. Unsupplied units. So, there are now multiple unsupplied units. The Italian down here or divisions and these guys up there but as you can see so again no battle okay cut draw retreat so we can deny a battle and retreat before the battle starts okay so these guys down here are still out of supply and if it stays that way another turn they're gonna be eliminated and these guys were out of supply but they managed to reconnect to these guys and now they are in supply again we get some reinforcements and where can we bring them down here and it really does not make any difference whether we place them here or here so let's place them here Camino a Tomeoza. Und eine nicht versorgte Einheit hier oben, immer noch. Und sie sind jetzt langsam auf dem Weg, uns da zu bekämpfen. <lacht> Und sie haben jetzt hier zwei Einheiten zusammengezogen. Das ist natürlich auch besonders ärgerlich. Wir wollten die eigentlich ja noch hier rausboxen. Da oben kann man nicht hin. Ach, schade. Nun, der Weg nach Torbelenia ist offen, aber wir wollen die hier abschneiden. Von daher werden wir jetzt hier angreifen. Wir haben hier immer noch den Panzerwagen und so. Der soll eigentlich zu diesen Einheiten hier oben. Jetzt ist da gerade der Weg versperrt. Vielleicht können wir den benutzen, um da drüben den Weg abzuschneiden. Nicht ganz, leider. Das reicht nicht ganz. Aber trotzdem werden wir ihn mal darum bewegen. So, dann jetzt unsere Interbrigade. Ich denke, wir werden hier angreifen. Ne, werden wir nicht. Wir werden da oben angreifen. Dann schneiden wir uns selbst den Weg ab, ne? Warte mal, bevor wir das machen, mal eben gucken, kann diese Einheit hier rüberkommen? Nee. That's not possible. We cannot 
move over there. So I'm thinking, shall we attack or not? And I'm tending to not attack. Because these are cut off from supply. So if we can keep them there for a few turns, they will be eliminated without any combat. Which is a good thing. And we will move these troops back here to defend Kogoyudo and the interbrigades shall they move shall they attack that's the question shall they attack or not I would say no we are here the defensive side in this combat so we won't attack but we will move up here this is entrenched this is entrenched they will aim for Hadrake. Uh, this is still out of supply and should be eliminated next turn if they can hold their ground. That is. So Valdez arrived down here. He still has one movement point left. But not enough to cross the river. Why is it red? Not sure. I have to look this up in the rules as well. But I think we can now. Shall we attack? I'm gonna attack now. I want to see whether their combat factor is reduced to zero or not because they are out of supply let's find it out the hard way and uh, these guys shall continue to advance up the road then we attack here and shift over to these forces of the second division that's the plan guys Next turn we have two combats before uh, we switch turns. We got artillery, a leader and a few units. But we cross a little river and one of our units panics. The weakest. Oh come on, they they hold us off. So actually their combat factor is not reduced, only their movement. Oh, they have a, a flamethrower tank here, interestingly enough. So, okay, yeah, but we learned it the, the, the hard way now. We panicked three of their units and one of ours is panicked, so this one. And are they destroyed now? Yeah, they are destroyed. So this was nonetheless a glorious victory for the Republic. So nationalists again. Cadra. Litorio division under Bergonzoli arrives. Uh-huh. What kind of card was that? Not sure. And they start to move now. And they start to attack us now. <laughs> After we've destroyed their their division or core or whatever. Well, core is bigger as a division. So fog anything. Um They have three battalions a anti-air company and artillery and we have artillery. these guys are really strong so we gonna retreat 
There is another attack, but only by one battalion and two artillery under, under Franciski. We don't want to play any card. And oh, we have a minus two and they have a minus one modifier. That's bad. But we were able to hold the ground. Great. So, regroupments. Uh, some companies lost during the retreat now arrive as reemplacements. That's cool. Uh, this unit up there is now dead because we were not able to bring it back in. Uh, in supply and now we have some points to refresh those two battalions to three points again great so movement phase but that's the end for this episode my friends i uh, hope you enjoyed this one and see you on the next one bye